the chief suspect in the killing of 24-year-old Pauline Wangari, a Moranya prison warder, has revealed what transpired on the fateful night. Joseph Achaying told DCI officers in Moranya that Monday, May 13 was the first time he met face to face with Wangari. The 24-year-old had initially been communicating with Wangari through Facebook. He described his relationship with the suspect as just a friendship, a detective, who spoke to the media in confidence, said. A Chiang who was born and bred in Kisamu claims to be an artiste. He told detectives how travel from Nairobi that morning to meet the deceased for the first time. According to the suspect, an argument with Wangari ensued after she refused to take hard drugs which he had taken with him to her rented house in Kaharu, Moranga County. Prior to the tiff, the two are reported to have spent a significant part of Monday evening indoors allegedly smoking bang, the suspect told the DCI. According to a Chiling's testimony, it was during the heated argument that he started strangling her and she fell down with a thud. Sent into panic mode. The suspect narrated how he reached for a kitchen knife and stabbed her in the chest, neck and abdomen, and, thereafter, put the knife firmly in her grip in a bid to make it look like Wangari had killed herself, said the DCI officer. In his testimony, the suspect further claimed prior to the quarrel, he and Pauline Wangari got intimate something a medical examination on Wangari is yet to authenticate. Sources indicate that the suspect was captured on CCTV cameras entering Pauline Wangari's house at 9 p.m. on Monday, and he left at 3 a.m. on Tuesday. The cameras further showed the suspect carrying the deceased's bag, her phone and a TV set. A chiling was arrested on Thursday at 5 p.m. May 16, 2019 at a roadblock placed at Kipsitet area in Kerijo County. The suspect was heading to Kisamu in a vehicle owned by a middle-aged woman identified as Mary Amolo Oliza, who has since been arrested. Another suspect identified as Namagura claimed that a Chiang approached him on Tuesday, May 14 at his Nairobi house. Appearing before Moranga resident magistrate Sheila Nyagan on Friday, May 17, he said a Chiang tried to convince him into buying a TV set that he, a Chiang, had recently acquired. Namagura, who further claims he knew a Chiling one month ago, said he declined to purchase the TV set. Mary Oliza, on the other hand, told the court that she is Namagura's cousin, and that a Chiling had requested to travel with her in her vehicle, given she was heading to Kisamu from Nairobi on Thursday. Oliza said she allowed a Chiling to ride in her car, not knowing he was a murder suspect on the run. Pauline Wangari, a constable at Moranga GK prison, was found naked on her bed early Wednesday, with her entire bedding soaked in blood. She had been stabbed multiple times in the head, abdomen and neck. In her lifeless state, a roll of bang was, ostensibly, placed between her lips, and a kitchen knife firmly clutched in her right hand. Her body was photographed and moved to the Moranga County Government Morgue awaiting post-mortem, the police report reads.